Besides China, where else do you see potential in the East? Hey, Michelle, thanks for the question. So besides Hong Kong and China, there are opportunities everywhere in Southeast Asia or Asia generally. I'd say a couple of really cool places. If you want a little bit more of a casual lifestyle, Singapore is fantastic. But I think the Philippines and Indonesia and Thailand are massively untapped markets that are still very, very friendly to foreigners. You can speak English for the most part. You can get around really easily. And there's tons of lag between what's happening in the Western world and China and what's happening in some of these countries, which means there's a lot of opportunity for you to take things that you know work other places that have lots of great documentation have lots of investor dollars or have a lot of kind of people ahead of you that you can look up to and learn from that you can then bring to these regions or you can do one of my other strategies which is you can take what you've learned from that western area you can move to the east and you can really listen and you can come up with completely novel and new solutions where you can actually create stuff for that local market or you might find stuff in the eastern market that you can then eventually pull back west but you got to put some years down not just couple of months or days, unfortunately. You gotta actually move, you gotta spend the time, you gotta learn, you gotta dig in deep. There's the only way to really do it out here is you can't just show up and do the kind of tourism or the technology tourism thing and think that you know anything about this region. Tons of opportunities everywhere in Asia. Those are the three that I think are making the most sense right now for foreigners, but you know I'm all about China and Hong Kong. Come see me, keep living in beta. I'll see you guys soon, peace.